Welcome back everybody to Cat Lake Grove. In today's video we are getting the new chimney system installed and inspected. Hopefully if everything goes well we are lighting our first fire in the new stove. Stay tuned. I'm in the house today in the living room and I'm gonna try to start installing the new stove and chimney system. As you can see behind me I already started off camera with opening up the old chimney. I'm gonna explain a little bit later in the video how our chimney uh, system is gonna work. Uh, so I consider myself a lucky person and I got a piece of luck in, the, in this part as well. I figured out that one standard brick, if I can get it in the wall, fits on each side of this pipe going through the chim chimney wall. So when I'm gonna rebuild this, it's gonna be a lot easier because I can use standard bricks instead. And that's, that makes makes me very, very happy. <laughs> I've gotten this far. Excuse the mess, it's a lot of things that we're keeping in this room. Uh, but this is our stove. If uh, I haven't told you so, it's a Viking. If the camera could focus, Viking 6, 1564 that I've painted. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out the measurements for the different parts that we're gonna use. So this is the pipe that's going through the chimney wall here. Uh, and I've figured out the length I need to cut it so it will fit. And then I will continue with another pipe up the chimney. So this looks a bit funny, I know, but I've cut the outer uh, pipe in line with the wall, and now I need to cut this part. This is a 90 degree bend that's gonna be up here as well. So I've figured out that it needs five centimeters of overlap. So I'm gonna cut this pipe five centimeters or sh just short of five centimeters from this part of the pipe out here so it gets the correct overlap and everything will work so let's do that so it's time for marking and cutting the inner pipe it's starting snowing here so it's very beautiful but so what i do first is i figure out how long from this edge i'm gonna cut i cut this edge at nine and a half centimeters and i want approximately four and a half centimeters of overlap. So I'm gonna cut it at five centimeters. So I mark five centimeters here and I flip around the pipe, mark five centimeters again. So now I'm marked all the way around at five centimeters. I'm gonna take this strap, wrap it around. So it hits all the marks. Oh, already made. Let's see if I can get the end of the rope or strap here. And you just match it up with the lines. And you hold it in place. Take your Pencil if you haven't misplaced it, here it is. I just draw a line all the way around and then you cut from it. So it's a bit later in the day, I've done some other stuff uh, as well and now I'm gonna try to cut this 
pipe here. This pipe that's gonna go up to the 90 that's going to the, to the wall. I'm a bit nervous about this. I only got one pipe and I only got one chance to get it right. So let's see how it goes. Measure twice, cut once. That's really true in this situation. So I made the cut, the nerve wracking cut of the pipe. You want to see how it went? Okay, I will show you. So here it is. I've measured the correct distance so it's perfect, just the way I wanted it. So now I have to start working on the piping inside the chimney. Uh, so let's talk about the chimney system and how I have chosen to design it. Technically it's nothing wrong with the old chimney that we got here on in this house. It's approved and we could have used it just as it is but due to the large diameter of the chimney and how uh, inefficient and how much heat we would have wasted using that one we were recommended to build a modern system inside the old chimney. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're going to have three pipes going up, uh, technically three chimneys going up the old chimney. One uh, is going to go to the wood stove here in the living room and two are going to go to the kitchen. One to the kitchen fan and one to the uh, bread oven. So for all, for all three pipes we're going to use flex pipe. I'm, I am un unsure of the dimension of, of the other two but for this one here in the living room, we're gonna use 120 millimeter uh, piping. So we're gonna have this pipe going up, and then we're gonna have these, these brackets securing it to the inside wall of the chimney. And then we're gonna have rain guards uh, up on top so rain and snow cannot get in. And then we're gonna connect it to the black pipe that you, you already. Uh, seen before when I was was cutting up uh, those pipes. So now I have to go up uh, on the roof, even though it's snow, it's, it's a lot of snow outside, and try to uh, bring this pipe through down through the chimney. So wish me luck. So a friendly reminder if you're doing something like this at home and you're using flex pipe. Flex pipe is designed uh, in mind that the air is just gonna go one way so it got markings uh, small arrows uh, that show which uh, way the smoke should go so double check that before you install it so you install it the correct way around i almost did it the complete opposite way so i was glad i spotted that but double check that before you install it and you will be golden so i have to go up to the chimney. It's a lot of snow and it's quite slippery but I've gotten up there a while ago so it should, shouldn't be any problem but then I didn't have the pipe on my back so we will see. So that was a lot of work but it's finished. So I put sealer between all the pieces, if the camera can focus, so it's just a sealer for exhaust so it can handle the, the heat and should suffice. And then I put clamps on it as well and I fixed the mistake I made on, on, um, on the stove here. So it's... It works now. So now I have to go up uh, up and uh, seal off the top of the, the new chimney pipe so I can smoke test the system. So let's do that. So this stuff I got here, 
you can call it a smoke bomb. It produces smoke when you light it, so you can see if it's a leak somewhere in the system. You use it for uh, for uh, chimney systems and ventilation sh systems and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use this lighter to light it up inside here, and I'm gonna close it up and see if it if I can find any leak. Hopefully I won't do that, but we will see. So you can see it there. So right now I'm waiting for the inspector to come. So I'm doing some small things to ch that still needs to be done to the chimney. So this is the end cap uh, of the chimney. So that ring there is gonna be where the pipe is go goes through. So I'm gonna take that. The saw and I'm gonna saw it out and then we're gonna install it up in this chimney. So I got some really exciting news. The inspector was just here and he looked at our chimney system and he said it was all okay and we got a stamp of approval. So we are almost ready to light the fire in this stove uh, but we have to, I or I have to uh, put down that steel plate on the floor and I have to clean up to be able to do that and then I have to mount the uh, um, end cap on the end of the chimney so it's all sealed up so let's do that so here it is the end cap installed um, and now I just need to go down to the living room and clean so we can do the rest there but it's very beautiful here today I got a good view up here at the chimney. I'm all done with all the things that needed to be done around the stove. Uh, I've prepared a, with a little bit of wood down there that we can light on fire. So we are all ready to uh, light this thing. But by the instructions of the inspector, we're gonna put two candles, these candles, right in there at the top of the stove just to build up a little bit of heat in the chimney so that the air starts moving the correct way so this is actually quite a big moment for the house and for us and for the farm as well this house haven't had heat in it for 20 years so it's this is the first time in 20 years that we're getting real heat here so it's a really big moment I'm so excited that we have come here and that we're on our way to getting a really beautiful home here on the farm. So let's light this thing. So here we go, the first time that this stove, or this house in a very long time anyways, gets some heat.
So this is so fun that we have gotten everything in order. I even got a little fan on top, spreading the warmth in this room. I'm so happy. I'm so really happy about this. And this is kind of a milestone for us to be able to uh, keep working even though it's cold in here. Um, hopefully this will suffice um, in the beginning anyways. When we get some more insulation in the roof and stuff like that I'm gonna put in another heat source. So this is, will not be our only heat source in this house. But more on that in another video. Thank you for watching Cut Lake Grove and have a good evening and see you next time.